Well, first of all, I'll say it's a shame that we have to do this. It's really despicable. It's despicable that somebody can say things about somebody and an organ. More importantly, 17-year-old kids. You're taking shots at 17-year-old kids and their families. And if they broke state laws, that they're, that they're, they're all money. They're, we bought every player on this group. We never bought anybody. No rules were broken. Nothing was done wrong. It was all in the, and the way we do things, the ethics in which we do things. And these families, it's despicable that a reputable head coach could come out and say this when he doesn't get his way or things don't go his way. The narcissist in him doesn't allow those things to happen. And it's ridiculous. But when, when he's not on top and the parody in college football he's been talking about, go talk to coaches who coach for him. You'll find out all the parody. Go dig into wherever he's been. You can find out anything. And it's a shame that you got to sit here and defend 17-year-old kids and families and Texas A&M because we do things right. We're always going to do things right. But we're, not, we're always going to be here. We're doing a heck of a job. These coaches have done a great job. Our players have done a great job. The whole organization of recruiting people. It's despicable that we got to sit here at this level of ball and, and say these things to defend the people of this organization, the kids, 17-year-old kids and their families. It's amazing. Some people think they're God. Go dig into how God did his, his deal. You may find out about, about a guy that a lot of things you don't want to know. We built him up to be the czar of football. Go dig into his past or anybody that's ever coached with him. You can find out anything you want to find out, what he does and how he does it. And it's despicable. It really is. And it's a shame we have to sit up here and have this conversation about things we do. And it's and it personal to us. Yes, it is. It's personal to a and It's personal to our players. It's personal to our coaches and everybody involved. And I know the guy. I know him really well. It's amazing that we're allowed to do those things. It's really despicable. And I, and I hate it for our players who are coming here, who did things the right way, have done things the right way, and will continue to do things the right way. I apologize to you, the people who insult you publicly the way they're doing it. And our fans, I, I, I apologize to you guys for people saying those things about Texas A&M. But I promise you this, there are, no, there are no violations. There are nothing wrong. It's the second time we've had to do this with grown men who don't get their way and want to pout, throw a fit, and act up. Just go ask all the people who work for him. You'll know exactly what he's about. I always said this. My dad always told me this. When people show you who they are, believe them. He's showing you who he is. Questions? Uh, to the left, Olin. Uh, a couple of things, Jimbo. First of all, have you had any contact with Nick since? No. Uh, oh, he's called. You just didn't take the call? Not going to. We're done. And uh, He shows you who he is. And then I just wanted to. He's the greatest ever, huh? And then I just wanted when you to. you got all the advantages, uh -huh. it's easy. And I just wanted to uh, just put it point blank. So no players in your – you're saying that no players in There's the There's no, no bylaws of anything any money we're ever promised, done, anything that goes against the laws of the state of Texas, and it's insulting to say a 17-year-old and his family broke laws. No. Down front, Brent. You know, y'all have both spoken so highly of each other in the past in terms of what y'all have done in your previous relationship. So how disappointing was it to hear that from him, you know, in terms of, you know, a mentor type to you it's as disappointing. well? No, I wasn't. No, listen, you coach with people like Bobby Bowden and learn how to do things. You coach with other people and learn how not to do things. There's a reason people don't go, I ain't went back and worked for them with opportunities. Coach back behind don't the lights. Don't be associated with it. <laughs> 